Centuries of shipbuilding in Devon could come to a close as a historic shipyard shuts down, having been denied contracts by the Tory government. Babcock International announced today that it will close its Appledore shipyard in March, despite union and community protests and a 10,000 signature petition. The closure could have been prevented by the awarding of a contract for new Royal Navy support vessels to Appledore, but the government refused to give the shipyard the financial lifeline. Labour slammed the decision and vowed to award Royal Navy contracts to British shipyards in government. Unions Unite and GMB organized opposition to the closure in support of Appledore workers, who have been building ships on the Tourage River since 1855. Unite Assistant General Secretary Steve Turner said, This shameful decision is a betrayal of a skilled loyal workforce and their community. Is a dark day for Appledore and British shipbuilding. We will continue to fight for the yard's future and with it opportunities of decent, unionized work for coming generations and skilled apprenticeships. While we press the company to think again, government must wake up to its role in today's announcement. At a stroke, ministers could secure the future of Appledore by lifting the delay to contract the Type 31E frigate program and guaranteeing that the Royal Navy's new fleet support vessels are designed and built in yards across the UK. A continued failure by ministers to intervene could lead to the loss of vital shipbuilding skills for a generation and leave a yawning capability gap in the UK's shipbuilding industry. He called on Babcock to rethink its decision and for the Ministry of Defense, MUD, to drop its ideological obsession with international competition and build support vessels for our Royal Navy ships in British shipyards. Jake McLean, General Union GMB's official at Appledore, said, This news is a devastating blow to the workforce and the local community. We want answers from the government and Babcock about the package that was offered to save the yard, Shadow Defense Secretary Nia Griffith called the announcement devastating. She said, whilst Babcock has offered its employees the opportunity to relocate to other sites, this will clearly not be possible for many of them. The government must actually support those workers who will be affected by today's news, and must ensure that any impact on Britain's sovereign capability is mitigated. This government lets down UK shipyards every day by refusing to use its powers to keep shipbuilding contracts in Britain. The next Labour government's plan for rebuilding Britain will use procurement contracts to create high-quality jobs across the country. The yard is the last in a centuries-old shipbuilding tradition on the North Devon estuary where the rivers Ta and Tourage meet the Bristol Channel. A government spokesman said, the Appledore Yard has played a key role in building the nation's two new aircraft carriers. We spent more than £1.7 billion with Babcock last year. We are very disappointed to hear that Babcock does not plan to renew the lease at Appledore and while this is a matter for the company, the government stands ready to support any workers affected at this concerning time. Babcock has said it will work to offer new opportunities to as many employees as possible and the company will continue to play a key role in the maritime sector, both in supporting Royal Navy ships and as a potential competitor in future shipbuilding projects.